shit through jokes so good times, all kinds of shit for you. Everything goes in the house and I'm gonna go to the copy love. I once met a guy named Gruesome Pete. Guess what? The name said it all. He was gross. What is that? Oh, do you remember the nipple incident? There's a nipple incident? Oh my god, I'm about Wait, to... I'm Hold on. Who's... One of my teachers. Damn, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm about to blow your gourd, dude. Alright, blow my gourd. So, uh, it doesn't matter what grade. Uh, I, I had a teacher who mad hated me. Okay. Mad hated me. He always put me like in the back and then like I can't see well so I was always like having a hard time. He just sucked. Uh -huh. Hated me. Made a point to show every kid on there that I freaking was hated. Right. And I told you about this fool and he sucked ass. And he had mad nipples. <laughs> <laughs> His nipples were always hardcore erect and 50 feet out, dude. <laughs> Now, I don't remember how you met him. I don't know if it was at where you used to work or if we actually went to the school. The way I remember is you went to the school. I guess we had like an open house or something. That's how it was. <laughs> and we went in there and he was being a hardcore dick. His name was, I have to say it, his name was oh uh, Martinez and we called him Marnipples. <laughs> And you straight up called him out of nipples to his, to his face. It was like, where'd you get new nipples, bro? <laughs> I don't remember what the line was exactly, but he said something about me getting like a new attitude or something. Yep. He's like, why don't you get new nipples, bro? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he was just like, what the hell? Oh <laughs> his nipples were huge, dude. Damn, I remember that, dude. Look, nothing pisses me off more than somebody picking on somebody in my family. And there was no reason for this dude. Like, yeah, that's another thing. I didn't thing. do anything. I was just going in and doing my freaking... Stu I, I mean, it was math, and I suck at math, so I was a little slow. But that's it. That's He was just a douche. Yeah, he was a dickbag. That's the thing. And uh, don't get me wrong. I'm okay with humor. That's fine. You know, if, if, if you're uh, uh, making a joke, that's fine. That's no problem with me. But uh, unjustifiable shit yeah. is like, what is that? You know what I'm saying? Uh, especially if it's malicious and th th you gave this guy no reason to be a dick. And I had already heard you tell all these stories about him being yeah, a dick. Yeah, sucking ass, yeah. And, um, you know, at the time we didn't know the breadth and width of your uh, uh, psychological issues. We didn't know what the fuck at yeah, that point. Yeah, this was basically slightly after I started having yeah. some problems. So, But it was evident that there was something wrong. Yeah. So that made it even worse. You know, that there was no reason for him to treat you like that. And then that, and you were the one that first told me about his nips. His nips were always erect. So we and I had a homeboy that freaking backed up my nipple claims. This was the same homeboy that he was here one day. And uh, we were outside talking and I just mad out of nowhere said, hey, dude, want to fart in each other's faces? And he was like, no. He was like, no. And he never came back. <laughs> so anyway, you being weird aside, yeah. you told me about his mad nipples. Yeah. And uh, we call we call I and you called him Mar Nipples because of that story. Now, there was an open house, and I remember telling mom, I gotta go to this. Yeah, because of this guy. Because of this fucking guy. I wanna see the cut of his jib. I wanna see if the cut of his nip. I was giving him the benefit of a doubt too, because you know, kids are prone to lie or exaggerate or see things the wrong way. So you never know. Maybe you were seeing things the wrong way. But I felt it in my bones that he was a turd. I remember when this happened, I have I was trying to make cause this dude kept putting me in the back and I couldn't see shit. Yeah. So I made it a point of mentioning it when he was there. Which is why I couldn't remember if it was at where you used to work or there. But I remember mentioning, like, he always puts me in the back. I need to see. Yeah. And that's what caused this weird exchange where he started getting really hostile and douchey. Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah, it was definitely during this, this open house yeah, thing. Yeah, it was. And uh, he... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> he was talking to mom. And I had interjected a few times. And he had made it a point to basically ignore me. Yeah. In this conversation. Which was... Duly noted. Yeah. And I was just prepping for mad nipple ownage. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's when he laid the, the he's got to get a better attitude after dismissing the fact that you needed to see. Yeah. And he said, you need to fix your attitude or whatever his little attitude line was. 
Yeah, it was. You need to get a new yeah, attitude. Yeah, yeah. And I said, <laughs> pissed. I yeah, got up. Like mad. You need to get some new nipples, bro. <laughs> <laughs> leaving, leaving him utterly <laughs> mystified as to what the fuck. And this homie and this homie was like mad erect always. So like, there's no way you can. He nah. saw, He must have seen his nips. Yeah, he like, must damn. have immediately looked down and realized, damn, these nips though, they're yeah. huge. So, you'd think after this event. You just left after that, but well, we all just left after that. Yeah, yeah, I was pissed. Because we were pissed, yeah. Uh, you'd think after this event, his douchebaggery would have ramped up to 11. Homie just left me alone, dude. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like mad. Well, the nipple worked. He knew that the nipples were noticed and that we're about to drop that bomb in Nagasaki at any moment. <laughs> I could drop the nip and people would be mocking him. <laughs> and the worst thing about his nips, look, if you got big ass nips, whatever... But this homie used to wear, like, the thin dress shirts, mm. uh, mostly always white. And his nips were, like, bright pink and mad hairy. Oh, not the hair nip. So you would always... It was impossible not to see his disgusting... Nips. Like, freaking 50-inch <coughs> nipples. Oh, speaking of 50-inch protuberances, check this out, man. In high school, I didn't have this teacher, but there was two uh, Arabic uh, uh, teachers there. And they were friends. I don't know if they were friends before or based solely on the fact that they were the only Arabic fellows there. Mm -hmm. They they chummed up. But they were pretty chummy with each other. I had one of them. And he looked like if Mario from Super Mario took off his cap. Mm -hmm. And he was, he was an okay guy. He had kind of like a funny sense of humor. He was a math teacher though. And I never really got along. No, I didn't hate. But I never really clicked with my math teachers because i suck at math so yeah. there was nothing for me to click with uh but he was he was an entertaining enough chap right i'll get back to him but his friend who was also a math teacher uh had what had to be to date the biggest and i do mean biggest eyebrows that wow. i have ever seen ever Ever, dude. Martin Scorsese says he got Nathan on this yeah. guy. I'm talking no exaggeration. Well, but, uh, Nosferatu. Nosferatu is baby stuff compared to this guy. Yeah, homie. Like, he, first of all, they were they were not a unibrow, mm. uh, but they were full, like just full, and they, and they were thick, like that oh. thick, right? Full, like long, thick black hair, and they protruded at the very least. That that length right there like, from his head, like two three inches. What is that? Like uh, two like inches? A, yeah, like two inches. That's that's, that's a lot. Yeah, too for much. hair, that's ludicrous. Just shelves, dude. Just straight up fucking shelves. And he would always be there outside his class whenever I'd go to the other guy's class. They would talk to each other across the hall, and it just, I could not get over his eyebrows, man. <laughs> yeah, I could not. So much so that, uh, you know me, sometimes I just blurt shit out. Mm -hmm, my nipples. About nipples. Yeah. And uh, one day I'm going in and, and I'm walking this girl, a friend a friend that was a girl, to, this girl. to his class because he yeah. goes there and I go here. And I say, uh, completely not thinking about the repercussions of saying this out loud in front of him, mm -hmm. I say, hey, ask him if his fucking huge eyebrows are real <laughs> but i didn't say it like with the intent to yeah, insult yeah. the guy i yeah, just literally curious. said it to her uh i know she wasn't gonna ask him but it was just like a damn those eyebrows yeah, though what is that but i say that and she departs kind of like chuckling to herself and i look a centimeter to to, to my left and he's glaring at me with the ferocity of hades himself <laughs> and i'm like well that guy heard me yeah Stinky. So then I just decided to double and triple up on it. Damn, homie. You know, cause might as well at that point. Yeah, I'm I condemned guess, to, yeah. to lose at that point. So I'd be just like, what's up, browse or whatever, right? As they pass by from then on. Which made his compatriot, his friend, kind of be like, what's up with this guy, right? So one day he took me to the side. Yeah. Not browse, but his friend. Yeah, his homie. And he was like, he had a really thick, uh, uh, I think he was from Saudi Arabia, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, accent and he was like uh, hey Heb I need to know what uh, problem is with this guy 
And uh, that's not Arabian at all, but it was thick is what I'm getting at. <laughs> it was not good. And, uh, and I was like, what guy? And he goes, well, you know, and I forgot the guy's name, Mr. Weber. Uh, why do you feel the need to insult him all the time? And I'm like, I mean, brows? <laughs> like, I li- it was like nothing to <laughs> me at that now? point. Yeah, it was like nothing to yeah. me at that point. Uh, and I was like, no, nah, man, I'm just saying, the dude got mad brow game, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's brow game. And he was fleek. like, well, they are big, but you don't have to point out. And I'm like, I think I do, man. <laughs> Those things are, whew. I feel like at a certain point, you need to ha- know yeah, that the brows are yeah, huge. Yeah, like I don't want to, I don't want to step in it, but uh, short of it being like some kind of, uh, you know, disability or deformation or something, which it was not. Yeah, uh, if you got mad weird brow or like a like a big ass like one hair coming out or something, something that you can fix, if you don't point it out, then you're then that's weird. It, w- it would be like not calling us fat. Considering yeah. we're a couple we're hundred freaking, pounds over yeah, that we're, limit we're of mad lark. Yeah. Like if I had a humongous booger sticking out of my nose <laughs> and you just mad out of respect didn't tell me that I had a mad booger and I went to the restroom and I had a mad booger, I'd be pissed. Yeah, exactly. Like guy, I had a mad booger. Brows needed to know that them brows was dangerous. Trim them shits, baby. Um now I'm not gonna say that he trimmed them, mm. but they were considerably shorter. From that point forward. Yeah. But they were still so big that it didn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Damn, homie. They were big, dude. They were thick, big, bushy creatures on his fucking Caterpillars. face, man. Uh, by the way, the, the, the teacher that I had, he had this... I think I mentioned this in another video. Uh, he had this tendency to uh, stand at the front, you know, his desk area. And rub very clearly his cock area over the top of the desk, or you know, on the edge, yeah, on the edge of the desk. On, it was very obvious to me. And then the girl started commenting and like, "Damn, this dude straight up like, Damn, homie. like you know, on the down low, stroking off, stroking, yeah. I guess." And there would be always like a weird side motion yeah, thing. That's weird. Homie. He would like tent his fingers and. Why do you? Why do you got a tent, homie? You I don't know. Rub but your cock, don't tent. He definitely tented. Um, but he was all right. At least he didn't have the mad brow game. Yeah, them them brows, dude, was offensively large. (laughs) They were too big. I feel like if kids are to have, like, some kind of dress code, which was a thing back then, I don't know if it still is, people might go naked to school now, I honestly don't know. Uh, (laughs) Then teachers gotta have, like, you can't have brows that are more than an inch, homie. Yeah. <laughs> like, shave them bad Yeah, places. there's got to be requisites both ways around. Yeah, like, come on. Brows, man. though. <laughs> what is this? It's not good. Shave them shits. I had a teacher who would always be afraid. I mean, I'm sorry, not afraid. Uh, livid uh, if I suggested that William Shakespeare was gay. He's super gay. I know you're tired of me popping up like an erection. But, hey, that's what I does. That's the phrase, right? Who cares? Why was I even here? I'm out. I'm <laughs> out.